Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you how to clean the Nikkor 50mm 1.2 which is really 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 easy to clean and if you're able to to get something like this because for this one I, I got it I, I got a really really good deal namely I paid 200 euros for this copy simply because there was some specks of dust uh, on the inside that you're able to to perceive here let me let me do the focusing right okay yeah that's it uh okay so i got this dust inside uh, and then just because of that uh i paid 200 euros but then as i'm going to show you this is this is this is really really super simple to clean okay so disassemble the objective you go to minimum focusing distance and then here in the barrel there is one this tiny screw here which you're able to see and then you simply need to remove it I like to use a black cloth, white cloth, because this allows me to, to put my screws pretty much everywhere and they're not going to roll and then they're easy to find. Okay, so I remove the screw here and then I just need to twist. You see, I twisted this part and then I'm able to remove it and then with it uh, normally the complete barrel the optical part is going to come out uh -huh. okay we wiggle a little bit and then that's it you get the complete optics assembly and then the mechanical assembly this one, there is actually nothing to do here with the with the mechanical part because it goes super super smooth actually. It has zero play, not like the one I restored uh, like two weeks ago, which are 55 1.2 as well, uh, which was in extreme bad shape. So check the video as well if you have one of these that I that I also found cheap and then I was able to restore completely to new okay so we have the optical part we have the the specs of dust uh, where is the light uh, yeah the specs so why do you get this dust inside this objective what you see here is, uh, I don't know, let me check, yeah, it's part of the aperture ring and then this part is completely open and then, yeah, the use of the years uh, makes that there is some dust coming inside. So, what we actually need to do to clean this objective is to, yeah, Okay, I was saying so. All the dust actually come through this hole here. So what we do to what we need to do is actually to access this point, and to do this is really really easy. We just need to separate uh, uh, the objective in two, so we'll get we'll gain access to the blade, and then we need just to remove these three screws here. So I need. Uh, this screwdriver which I have here Just need to replace in my box and then it should be um, the middle one so there is three screws here 
as you can see one two and then the third one is in the shadow okay so you can it here okay it's time to get a big screwdriver because I'm not able to generate an out force with this one and then if I force too much I might break the screw head and then I'll be in big trouble so I will go and fetch a big screwdriver and then I'll come back okay so I am back with the big screwdriver which I have here well, the frame is so small that I'm not able to show it so I have one adapter for um, really really small screwdriver so I put my G triple zero screwdriver but this way I'm able to really push put some torque I have to be really really careful if I don't want to to break uh, the screw head otherwise um, <sighs> I will be really really in trouble I go back to the G triple zero and then I have to push really hard ah okay okay did you hear the glue breaking okay so when you do this you see if it is the first time and there's glue so just push really hard okay. good torque okay then the glue broke and then the last one push so you're really really good inside the slot and then there okay came out now it should be extremely easy to do to remove now and that's it so once the glue broken so up then we will be able to come and then we have access to the blades on both sides so here on this side I have one little speck of dust and then the other one will have also the dust so we get a blower side here we have all the the dust let us pass just a soft brush it is a brush which is really 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 soft just in case particles got stick and then we 
of the stereo. And then, um, we're pretty much done. Good thing is, um, even the holes are not make at uh, 120 degrees, so, which is great because uh, we don't have to worry about indexing. So this hole is not aligned. So yeah. This is the right position. It's the only position that works actually. So you don't have to care about implementation or marking it because the hubs themselves and allow only one mounting position. Tighten the screws uh, just enough uh, because, yeah, when I come back for servicing or whatever, I don't, I don't like to, to fight uh, super tight screws. And anyway, for really, really smooth screws, you don't need a lot of force to, to tighten, anyway. Um, okay, now. We go back to reassemble thing, and then the tricky part here is to uh, align the, the, the pins for the um, for the pair two blades, which is this one uh, and this one. So I just need to okay this one only one push and then the other one the one which is critical so the thing is okay so the blades now are close to the minimum so we put f16 here and then we will Align the slot Instead, second try. Well, you got the idea. I need to need to align this with um, this fork here. So I will stop the video and then I come back when I got it aligned. Okay, so I put it back together. I got the alignment right uh, between the two levers uh, that, uh, that move the aperture blades. So, and you got it. That, that. And then, to finish the assembly, this thing out uh, uh, we disassemble uh, uh, put back um, 
the screw. The really, really tiny screw which I have here. Oh, this is what I tell you having the white cloth is important because uh, otherwise it will be really really difficult to see if I was um, on a dark background so I got the screw up uh, here and then And the hole I just make sure it's not protruding on outside. It's not interfering with the in and out. And then there you go. We got it. We got our 50 millimeters 1.2. Super cheap because of dust, and it was really, really, really quick to fix. To fix. So, thanks for watching, and then subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and then if you have suggestions uh, of fixing objectives, dare to ask if I'm able to find it. I will do it. I have uh, in the future um, 105 millimeters here, um, which I got super cheap. But it's uh, yeah, it's in ugly, ugly shape. Uh, I don't know what that haze that you see there, and then the ring is completely stuck. So this is the one I will be doing next, and then. If you have some ideas just let me know okay thanks again and see you later